Hello everyone, this is a Born Again original. This is going to be a video on Juice World and some of his lyrics pertaining into like Freemasonry and the occult and whatnot. This is going to be a video that was requested by you guys. So, by, requested by the audience. A lot of the time I do just make little posts to ask what you guys want to see, ask what you guys want me to make videos on because I... I'm just running out of topics, right? Like, I've, I've done a lot on Juice World in the past. I've done a lot on Tentacion in the past. A lot on those rappers. So revisiting Juice World is not a problem for me. All you guys gotta do is ask. So, this is gonna be Juice World selling the soul on Instagram Live. You guys have probably seen this before. I just wanna kinda point out some things that I never pointed out before. I didn't know how to make videos properly when I first made my videos on Juice World, so now that I know I can narrate it this way, it makes it way easier for me. So we see ritual circle, we see crows, we see candles, all dark energy, all a sign of an occult ritual. People say it was for a music video. I don't care. Still demonic. Hi y'all uh, I'm finna sell my soul. So for him to say that, like why would you even say that? <laughs> who's like sitting there looking at like some props and is like you know what i'm gonna sell my soul i'm gonna post on a public forum where celebrities are rumored to sell souls and i'm going to say i sold my soul i'm gonna hit y'all when i'm through i'm gonna be rich as hell all right this is a g herbo with the masonic checkerboard sweater that is not set up like that is a sign that juice world was initiated that is so blatant, like, why in the world would they make this stuff up? You can't make it up. That All this stuff is set up for a reason, right? Man, you trying to sell his soul, man. Look, look, do sell his soul. It ain't take too long, Illuminati, man. <laughs> What'd you say? It did not take too long, Illuminati, man. Illuminati, right? Like, that is just the name of the different cults. The different Freemasonic names they hide behind, that they are a hive mind. The Illuminati is a hive mind, right? So when you just think about it that way, a bunch of different cults, all the same purpose. When people say the Illuminati, they don't mean that they belong to that specific cult. They probably belong to a cult that is being told what to do by the higher ups in the cults. Do you understand what I mean? Like, does that make sense? So, the chances are they're not actually in the real, like, high up occult cults, right? Like, G Herbo and those guys that are saying, oh, Illuminati, they're, they're probably on the lower end of things, like, they're not the elites themselves. This bitch ass nigga boy. And we got Trippy Red, who's blatant occultist. We're going to go and we're going to film on Spotify a little bit. Well, I'm going to look up some lyrics suggested by you guys. And just, they mentioned Freemasons, so. Alright, this is song Couple M's by for Juice World. Couple M's in the safe. You know. Swerving in the eighth. Here we go. F and hit it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Intoxication, intoxication, counting up the cash. We do not say too much like the Freemasons. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Like, But if he was just a rapper, how would he even know the Freemasons don't say much? You know what I mean? That is blatant. There. Blatantly there. Um, you can't say too much else about it other than he was shouting out the Freemasons. He was shouting out his management. He was shouting out maybe the organization he is part of himself. Who knows if he was a Freemason. And then there's another lyric also. Oh. Alright, so here we go. Gucci robes like Masons. <laughs> robes like Masons? How does he know about this, right? I can bet you how he knows about it. Because his girlfriend was most likely his Freemasonic handler. 
you can't tell me a random drug won't, a random i i almost called it a whore but a random drug like you know dealer had a freemasonic tattoo on her chest for no reason what do you mean how does that make any sense this woman is part of witchcraft she's probably playing a, a playing a role man She's like playing out this druggy dope type. That's just their internet presence, I bet you. Who knows? Alright, then we're gonna go into Spotify. Okay, so this photo, right? We have a satanic serpent type being in the far left corner. In the like, Leviathan, I believe, is what they would probably call it. Biblically, Leviathan. It's a water beast snake that Satan is also sometimes referred to as the Leviathan. Another thing I think is very interesting in the background here. I bet you nobody knows what this is. Not a lot of people would understand what this behind him is. That is going to be a Nephilim spirit. That is a demonic spirit. That is what was made pre-flood, okay? So pre-flood, fallen angels... They came down to earth and they stole women and they, I don't know if they did genetically, genetic experiments on these women to do whatever or if they actually had intercourse with these women. But they had sons of their own. They had their own beings. That is where the legends of like beings like Hercules and beings like all the demigods come from. I've explained in past videos that spirit behind Juice World, that is what he's carrying with them, or what he was carrying with them, that is what they're trying to symbolize, that behind him was a demonic spirit, how do you think he was so gifted in music, it wasn't just based off his own human talent, he made a deal with an entity, um, who knows when, <laughs> he made a deal with an entity, and to become amazing at music, be the best freestyler, and look where it got him, right? It got him on, it got him, first of all, dead at a very young age, with a demon behind him on his posthumous album. Like, making these deals with these and with these demonic entities is, doesn't get you anywhere. Maybe a little bit of fame, maybe it lasts a couple of years, maybe whatever. You are going to be psychologically damaged. Why do you think he was high all the time? <laughs> okay. We're going to look more. Alright, here we go. Lightning bolt. That is to quote... That is actually quoting Jesus, believe it or not, in the Bible. When he says he saw Satan fall as a bolt of lightning. I don't know why they pay homage to it. I could not tell you. But... The winning team usually has these symbols on them. You want to be successful for a small period of time. Do some occultic practices. Black goat. Nine nine nine. It is six 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 inverted. How he explained six 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 in an interview is taking 999 or taking a bad thing and making it good. He's doing alchemy. He's making the lifestyle of 666, Aleister Crowley's religion, which would normally be viewed as a bad thing, into a good thing through his music. That is what he meant. That's all he meant by it. What's the 27 Club? But we ain't making it past 21. Now... If you know anything about Juice World, he was friends, he was hooked up with the same people XXX Tentacion was hooked up with, same with Lil Peep, what's the 27 Club, we're not making it past 21, this could be a cult, this could be all these people making an agreement, they're gonna get these people famous, kill them off by the age of 21, who knows if these people are even doing this on their free will, now, I always talk about the Truman Show because it's just such an interesting concept to me about how the Freemasons or how the people of the elites put people in positions. 
like they they can take anybody who's like an orphan and just make up a backstory for them i don't know about these people right like i i can't i'm not was never around them. i'm sure there's people in the world who've been around them grew up around them they could have easily just had their whole backstory lied about and put in to the limelight to die before the age of 21 just because of their connections to the occult and freemasonry so if you guys are familiar with back masking um shout out to backwards message this channel here they put this video out let's see what it says So that's actually disgusting, for one. We don't love Satan on this channel. We actually despise him, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He died for us. Anybody who follows this channel and doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, like you may want to reconsider your beliefs because you're going to be opening yourself up to ritual magic, as such as in this song. Those who have the Holy Spirit are not affected by this dark magic. So this gives me a lot of hope and a lot of joy to be able to say that, okay? Either way, disgusting. They love him. They love Satan over there in, the, in their cult. They love worshipping him. They love disobedience. They love goats. They, they hate life. They hate God. They hate love. You know? In the Bible it says... Those who love death, they hate me. That's just loosely quoting it. I don't know if that's a direct quote, but that is that is essentially their death cult. How can you love someone who's going to be taking you to hell? Right? Like I, I, things have just been going. It's just so downhill. I don't know. Either way, let's go on. Move on in the topic. More juice world. Alright, so to end this video off, we're just going to look at, like, how we died, really. There's probably way more I could cover in this video, but, you know, we gotta, we got to leave more for next time. So, his death. He died in an airplane, okay? Right, like, if you think of celebrity deaths in airplanes, or he didn't die in an airplane, he overdosed on the airplane. He overdosed... Got off the plane, had seizures, right? Ali Lottie said, you think he died of an overdose? Well, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Do you guys remember that video? Ali Lottie saying he doesn't, he didn't die from it. Well, you know what? I'm going to put it at the end of this video now that I'm thinking about it. It's a good way to end off the video. Oxycodone and codeine were present in the system. It's an easy way to make it believable. He was a drug addict, he was depressed, he was all this, all that. Easy way to make it people not question a public figure's death, man. He was supposed to be a sacrifice, obviously. When people are talking about their death so to the forefront and they know how it's gonna happen exactly like XXX Tentacion did, they are a sacrifice and that's why they know. They're not some fortune teller. They have a date, they have a script, they have a Time to go. <laughs> XXX Tentacion died. Six 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 six. Right. If you, numerology. That is what it was. Anyway, Ali Lottie saying he didn't die from an overdose. Just shout out to Hip Hop DX for posting this video. Um. Drug you know. overdose. Lottie recently posted a clip to social media alleging that fans were wrong to believe her ex died from a drug overdose and hinted there were other factors at play that have since been covered up. Y'all mad because literally I'm like, oh, blah, 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 you guys think he died from a drug overdose. You're wrong. You're wrong. Literally. You're wrong. So suck a dick. Okay? Suck a People are going to be like, man, she's crazy. She's a drug addict. Drug addict. She's doing this for attention. That Masonic compass on her chest says otherwise. That Masonic chest says she took an oath and she's in something. 
right? That Masonic chest, compass on her chest says that she, she knows the truth about what happened to Juice World. Okay. Whenever you see the Masonic G on someone, and whenever you see it around, just know there are other factors at play, and there's some tomfoolery afoot. <laughs> Think about it that way. There's some sketchy things going on if you're seeing that Masonic G. It doesn't matter who it is. You see it. It's, um... It is... Someone's part of it. They don't let anybody represent that. Only people who know what it means will throw that thing up. Either you know what it means and you're part of it, or you don't know what, you, what it means. And you're just doing it because you're following the club. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this Juice World video. And anytime you guys want something, just comment. I see all my comments. I will reply to you if it's, uh, you know, interesting. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you again for watching. And... I'll see you again for the next one.